What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. So it's been about six months back in March. I think I made my last video or so. Um, and it is now September and we're going into the winter months soon here, but I just haven't been in the mood to make videos. I've been doing things on cars and I've been just doing them quicker because it's easier to do the work than just record. I've just been kind of, I was all into when I first started this YouTube thing and I just haven't been really in the mood to make them lately because it takes a lot longer when you're making a video to do a specific job, let's put it that way. So a 30 hour, a 30 minute job can turn into a two hour job because you wanna record, take pictures, move the camera, and all the other stuff. And I don't do any script. I don't write script before there's a lot of YouTubers do. I go off of whatever is coming up in my head and it's like I'm talking to you guys directly. But anyways, enough talk about that. We have the Escalade back in the garage today. And of course, you guys have seen, if you guys have been following my channel, you know I bought the Escalade. I traded, sold my two other vehicles, which is my 4Runner and my CTS V-Sport, and ended up with the 2016 Cadillac Escalade. It's been wrapped and all that, but it had its issues when I bought it. Most of the issues have been fixed. Uh, some of the videos I have in there, some of them did not put videos out on there, but two issues still remain. One issue, but it turns into two. The cameras on the side mirrors don't work. Uh, from what I know, this car wasn't an accident. Somehow, side swipe, I guess, on both sides, cameras were broken off. Whoever ordered and put the cameras or the mirrors in, ordered the wrong mirrors. So, and I'll show you guys that in a second here. There's two types of mirrors for this vehicle. I guess there's a six way or six function one and a seven function one. I'm not sure what the difference is, but the connectors are different. The six function one has like a brown connector and the seven function one has a green connector. And that's I think mainly for the camera. So you have like two different harnesses that connect to the vehicle. On this car, of course, I found out why when I popped the doors out of there and found out that basically the connectors are completely different. So they put the wrong mirrors on this thing. Everything else works. Turn signal, indicators work, the um, side impact or side blind spot monitoring works, the power folding works, all that works just not the camera. So when you're looking at the display and you put the car in reverse or you hit the camera icon on the Q system, you get two black, basically the sides are black, you can't see them. Now, I didn't, I've never had this in any of my cars. My wife's car, my Pathfinder has it. It's got all around view monitoring, which is what this car has. But none of my other cars I've had, even my CTS-V, my V-Sport had just a rear camera. I didn't even have a front camera on that car. But it's a cool option. I mean, I bought it, it has it, and why not fix it? Reason it's taking me so long to fix it, it's more than a year that I've owned this car, is the fact that basically they're $500 a mirror. So take some time to get it done. And also, I'm gonna be having to repaint this. So the, the actual cap has to come off of this. And look, it's peeling. So whoever did the paint job did a poor, poor paint job. So gonna get this cap off of here trying to get it without damaging it or breaking the clips inside. Hopefully they're not broken already and replace this entire mirror. Now here is the new mirror, of course, from GM. I didn't order from anywhere else. Of course, it comes with no cap again because I have the cap and I'm having somebody repaint that for me tomorrow. But today we're installing this. I am going to leave the cap off when I put this one on for about a day until somebody paints that for me. Luckily, there's no rain coming, but again, Here's the connector that I'm talking about. So this is your main connector right here. This is the green connector that I need where my car has a completely different connector. And again, there's a uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, six. There's seven pins in the connector right there, you can see. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get this thing replaced. Now replacing the mirror on the driver's side is the same as the mirror on the passenger side. Again, I only got one mirror this time, so I'm gonna have one uh, view on there, but in the next few months, I'll get the other mirror and do the other side. But again, it's the same exact concept taking the door panels off because we do have to remove the entire door panel to be able to move that mirror. A lot of cars, honestly, will just pop this piece out and the mirror is right behind it. But again, so you gotta get to the connector and of course it's not that simple. The entire panel has to be removed. So when I'm doing that, we gotta be very careful not to break any clips. And this is something you wanna take your time on doing this. So let's go ahead and get started on this job. I will tell you guys what tools you need and we'll go step by step on how to remove the panel and how to replace that mirror. So the tools we'll be using is some trim tools, a seven and a 10 millimeter socket, a screwdriver of some sort, or some kind of pick. Now to start off, we're gonna go ahead and remove these plastic trims. One is on your door handle and the other one's on your armrest area by your window buttons. This will reveal 
a total of three seven millimeter screws that we're gonna have to remove to start. So we'll start by removing this trim piece here first. Go ahead and just put the screwdriver right in the little notch that just pops out. And then this one's a little more of a pain. You're gonna put it in the little notch here. You're gonna pop this side first, this little corner. You're gonna gotta pry around the bottom and then it should pop right out. Then go ahead and remove the both seven millimeter screws from the bottom portion here. And then one more that is behind the inner door handle. Once those are removed, you're gonna get two more seven millimeter screws that are at the bottom of the door right down here. Go ahead and remove those as well. Once the last screw is out, we're gonna take our plastic pry tool and insert it right in the corner and pull forward with it. Then the rest of the clips should come right out. They are just plastic clips. Just make sure you don't break any of them and pull everything straight forward. When you get up the top of the window, there is five total metal clips up here. Make sure you don't break any of these. Pull up and towards you and the whole door panel should come apart. When you do this, be careful that this little doorknob right up here does not come off too far. It will break and then you have to replace that and that's going to be another pain. So just push down on it and then pull the door panel forward and put that in its place. Next, we're going to remove the door handle cable. You're going to do that by pressing on the, with your thumb on this tab and then just pulling it up straight forward. And then, of course, the main harness has a giant latch. I'll show you how to take that off in a second here. To remove the cable from the door handle, it's very simple. Again, just press on the tab and then pull it right up. And then this right here, you got a small locking tab, pull up on the connector and you're good to go. To do the actual cap for your mirror, be very careful when you're prying on this. You pry on this and you break a tab. You may be able to put it back on. If you break both tabs, it will not go back on. I actually broke one tab. I'll show you guys in a second here. But again, be very careful. If not, you're going to be replacing the entire cap. And that's going to cost you another $60 to $70 without paint. Okay, so the door is apart and here's what I wanted to show you guys. So here is the mirror plug. This is from the mirror. This is, haven't unplugged this yet, but this is from the mirror. Now this is the plug that's supposed to go on here, but of course it doesn't match because you need the green plug in to go in here and not this, this one. Now other GMs may have this one, other cars. And again, this is again, it's only got one and two, I think one, two, power ones in there and some other like signal ones so i'm not sure what this one was meant for it could have been a tahoe or something like that but yeah this is pretty much kind of useless on this card and whoever put it in he just basically put the mirror on i'm like well, screw it whatever and just kind of left it like that and that's why i don't have any picture or video on my cue when i reverse or hit the camera button now another thing is when you guys are removing that door panel be careful you don't break any of these clips up here and be very careful with this right here. So this is, of course, you know, your lock uh, demonstrator. Now, when I pulled it out at first, that is pretty much in there. You wanna keep the panel up against the car as much as you possibly can, and then push this downwards, and then just pop it back in its place right here. Because what happens is if you do pull too far out, you will snap this. I learned my lesson when I took apart that door over there to see what was going on. And I did break this. I was able to glue it together and it's been working ever since. But again, this portion, this little piece right here, you cannot get without the entire door lock assembly. So if you break this and you can't get that back together, you're going to have a hard time. I actually was able to, it kind of cracked in half on the other side and was able to glue it back on together with some um, epoxy and it held and it's been holding ever since and it's been working. And then all it is is basically just to kind of move this up and down. The door locks will work if you remove this. You just won't have this on there. But I mean, that's still something you want to make sure you take care of. And when it comes to the mirror, now I'm hoping this does work. Like I said, taking these off are a pain. You have to be very careful. There's only two things holding this in here. And it's these little things right there. These right here. These are supposed to be like little C-clips. Okay, they look like little things. What happens is they go right into this slot right here and they expand out and that's how it holds the mirror, the, the cap in. Now, when you're taking these off, there's no way to compress them and push them in to pop them out. So you kind of have to be careful. Now, I broke both sides. Now, I'm hoping this does not affect, I still got one side. I mean, it's not fully broken off. So hopefully it'll still hold. If it does not, then oh well, I'm gonna have to get a whole new cap. They're not that expensive. Um, but also, there's going to be these other like hooks. Don't worry about these hooks here. 
These are basically when the, when they were painting it, kind of just to hang the mirror like this when you're painting it. That's what they're for. Uh, you want to be careful with the side ones. Here's little, these little things right here as well. Those also kind of help hold it in. On this side, I don't have any. So you get very careful when you're removing this cover from breaking it. So like I said, I broke one side of each. We'll see if it holds. If it doesn't hold, then I'm going to have to get a whole new mirror cap. I'm going to have to, with the new mirror, kind of put some kind of tape here so the water doesn't get through it. Um, but again, mirror caps were not that far out anyway. So back to finishing this up, which has got to remove this portion right here, out of here. And we'll go ahead and be able to remove the mirror. And that, then, of course, we'll unplug this and then plug the new mirror in here. And then we should be all good to go. Go ahead and undo the mirror harness. And then, of course, this thing has a bunch of little butterfly, like plastic tabs hold on to it. You got to pull them out of there. And then, of course, this just has a small little plastic clip that holds it on. You don't need to remove the entire thing. Just put it over to the side, and then you get the 10 millimeter nuts that are on there. Go ahead and take those out. Once you do that, the mirror will come right out. You should be able to pull it right out from the other side. The entire harness will come with it. Once you take the mirror out, go ahead and put the new one back in there. Harness goes in first. Line up the mirror properly. And then start off one of the nuts on there. And then once you get the second one on there, you should be good to go. You can let the mirror go. Go ahead and tighten everything up and plug everything back in. Okay, so mirror is back on. I still got to put everything back together, of course. Um, oh, didn't want that whole thing to come out of there, but okay. <laughs> didn't you don't really need the whole thing to come out but uh, it is what it is it just popped out on me right now so but the mirror is on now let's go ahead and check it out make sure that it is working and of course the mirror is folded in and there's no way to fold it out right now so it's gonna the image won't look right so let's go ahead and check it out so we finally have an image everything's working like it should the image doesn't look right because the mirror is folded in so that's why the image kind of looks off of here. But either way, it's working. Let's go ahead and put the door back together. Oh, one more thing before I continue that. If anybody else out there with these cars knows, has this happened to you guys where the armrest on the door pretty much is broken? There's nothing, this, this honeycomb looking thing broke. So every time I set my elbow on it, it basically just dips down. I put screws on it because it was actually coming apart from the door. So I just threw some screws on here for now to hold it. They're not even the right screws for this type of stuff. But just to keep it from coming apart from the door. But if anybody knows of a way to fix this or even just replace that armrest portion of it on these Escalade without replacing the entire panel, which is about $400, let me know in the comments below. I would love to know that's if a way I could fix it. And so I could just get this armrest. That's all I need is the armrest. It seems like there's a screw here, but going back in here, I don't see any other screws other than this one maybe. But again, um, yeah, I don't know if it's, I've looked over everywhere and I cannot just find the armrest. It, you gotta get the entire door, which I don't like. So anyways, let's go ahead and put this door back together here and finish up this project. So I sped up the video here because it's not hard to put the door panel back on, honestly. Once you get the connectors back on everything and get that little, uh, door lock knob back in its place. Everything just pops into place. Make sure you just line up all the tabs and the holes and then it just pops right into place and you can put the screws on and you're good to go. All right, so the car is done. Everything's completed. Uh, let's check everything out, make sure everything is working, which I already did, but let's look at it together. So here's the camera, we're gonna hit the camera button and I have an image on the side now. Of course, if I put it in reverse, same thing. Image is on the side, doesn't change it, of course. Turn the signal, light works. Mirror folds and opens up. I just need to put the cap on it, of course. Like I said, I'm getting that cap painted. I'm hoping the cap does work. There is no rain in the near future, at least in my area. So this should be okay for now. I am gonna probably to put some tape here and here just to kind of keep the electrical from getting wet. 
And like I said, this other mirror that I have over here, uh, I'm gonna put on eBay and I'm gonna put it on Facebook Marketplace. I will ship the mirror. It does have a small gash at the bottom of the mirror. Anybody that needs this type of mirror, I'll show you guys the gash right now. I don't know if you guys can see it here. I'm trying to get it to focus, but there's a gash at the bottom portion of the mirror. Somebody tried to paint it, but the mirror is in fully working condition. And like I said, the only thing you don't get is the, the cap for it. So, but if anybody needs that mirror, somebody broke your mirror or same kind of same situation as me or whatever it is, I have that mirror. I have the links down below where you guys can get it at. Uh, when I do the other mirror, I'll do the same thing on that one, but that one I'm not making a video on. But other than that, car is done. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the like button, give it a big thumbs up. And also don't forget about those special things down there as well. And I will see you guys on my next video. Peace.